Time for some more Peep Show Series oh, yeah. 2, Episode 3, Local Zero. I have no idea what that means, but I'm thinking that both Mark <laughs> and Jez are both zeros and Maybe. they're local to somewhere. But or, then or... again, what's it going to be about? Cringe. Who knows, man? It's just going to be about him shooting his shot and getting shot down. By Sophie. <laughs> That's just the way it is, man. Ugh. Jez will find some interesting character to fuck up his life with. Yep. I need to say more. No, but I'm here for it, man. As always. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. God, you're great. Thanks, Jez. You're great, too. Sometimes I'd like to die and climb inside you. What? Was what? that too much? No. Go on, ask her. Nancy... I was wondering whether you'd consider being maybe my proper, just you and me, girlfriend. Wow, I don't know. That's really nice, Jeremy, but... There's always a but. Well, I'm so different. I I've got my religion, my yoga size, my charity stuff. <laughs> I just don't know where you'd fit in as a boyfriend. But I really like you, and we have a great time together. Well, I really like you, too, and we do have a good time together, but... That's the second but. What about all the other stuff? Other stuff? Look, obviously God wanted us to enjoy ourselves. Oh, God. That's why he invented pills and clubs and lube and hardcore. But he also <laughs> wanted us to give something back. And that's why he created the homeless, the lepers, and the oil spills. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I love that. Oh. I love that. I guess I'm just never going to try to take a drink again while this woman's talking. That's mm. why God created the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh. That's it. I that, love that. It was going to happen sometime or another where you take a spit take. I have taken multiple spit takes on this channel. It's your turn. Oh, it's like, there's no way she just said that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yes, God created uh, the homeless and what? O oil spills? Like, yeah. Oil spills. All that. 100%, man. Sure about that? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? Oh God, Nancy, listen. The only reason that I don't go to church is that, for me, everything's a church. This room is my church. The hall is my church. Cost cutters is a bloody cathedral. That's really nice, Jeremy. It's just not true, is it? God. <laughs> so this is where ah. that Marin Morris song comes from. Yes. I get that reference. I just got it. It took me way too long for that to cook <laughs> in my head. Yes. yes. You're still recovering from the spit take, aren't I'm you? I'm still recovering. Oh, my God. God made the homeless. What? <laughs> Love that. God. Oh, God. Oh, this is... Go ahead. Uh, uh, nothing good happens in this office at night is what I'm noticing. Period. Mm -hmm. Nope. End of quarter sales push. Pulling an all-nighter. One of the few in my spitfire. Who am I kidding? I probably would have crashed my training plane during the phony war. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Giggling. Sharing. Shall I intervene? <laughs> no. It's fine. It's totally fine. Case sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. If she fucks him, I'll kill myself. All right then, mate. Hobnobs. Thought we might like some, mate. You're pulling an all-nighter. We're all in it together, aren't we, mate? Right. Hope this works. Well, that's nice. Want to come in? Mate, the magic code word. Instant rapport with taxi drivers, builders and garage men. Blimey, mate. Look at all these TVs. See it all from in here, can't you? Yep. So, uh, what's your name, pal? Pal? Is he a pal person? Mark, pal. Terry, Mark here's brought us some biscuits. Cheers, mate. Now we're back to mate. This is a nightmare. Uh, no problem, mate, pal. So, I, I bet I can see my mates from up here. Look, there they are, laughing away like a pair of <laughs> bloody idiots and absolutely nothing. Your well, mate's getting fresh, is he? Oh, God, no. <laughs> hey, Till, get me a tape. Don't tape it. Stop it. Charge up your tasers. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is hilarious. I'll tell you what, he can give a one from me. And me. <laughs> Brilliant. God, I'm good. That's an HR nightmare right there. That is... Uh, they've uh, they've already you know. crossed some lines in this one. That's yeah. tame compared to what, what they crossed in the last yeah. episode. Yeah. This company is a, is a clown company. What the hell? My God. It's just being me. I just see lawsuits everywhere. Basically, Oprah. Look under your chair. What? Lawsuit. 
you get a lawsuit. You get a restraining order because you're weird. Lawsuit, 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 law. Like, everybody gets a lawsuit. We're, we're shutting down. That's basically <laughs> what this whole thing is. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Wow. There we go. Is hilarious. I'll tell you what, he can give a one from me. And me. <laughs> Brilliant. God, I'm good. It's a Saturday night and I'm doing good. Come on, give us a smile. You don't know I'm here with an ulterior motive. Jeremy. Nancy. Since when were you involved with street work? <laughs> Since forever. Bloody hell, this is amazing. I had no idea you were into this stuff too. Really? I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. No, I don't think you did. Because if you had, I'd have mentioned it too. Right. Yeah, I love hobos. Always have, always will. And they're a great bunch down here, the Jesus Cave crew. Although, don't you think sometimes they can be a bit patronizing? Sorry we're all out of soup and bread, but... Oh, look, this is lucky. We have lots and lots of wine and tiny little wafers. That is so whack. Jesus fed a multitude of followers with just five loaves and two fishes. Matthew, chapter 14. Nancy! See you later, honey. Later, baby. I'll probably get to bone her later. Cheer up, Beardy. Everything's coming up roses. <laughs> Another cup of tea. Girlfriend. I'm good, thanks. Be friend. <laughs> this is the oh, worst no. bit. I hate this bit. This is the worst bit. Come oh. on, mate. There's no point. What the fuck? Why do you have that in your house? Mark! Uh, what? Uh, it's too uh, much, man. It's too okay. much, man. I just need a second just to, to process the fact that he has this security uh, tape. <laughs> I think I'm good now. So, creepy, brilliant move. If you were very uh, rapey, that's yeah. who you get, become friends with, I guess, is the security guys. What? Who? No good. Who, thinks of that oh my god dude that, that's yeah. so wild that's too much man there are a few times where my body just can't handle it my mind can handle it my body just cannot it's uh, what happens is that the cringe from the previous little scene that we saw because that was cringe in and of itself and then right into him basically getting off on watching them kiss in the in the wherever that is storage back, aisle. back <sighs> office these guys man Oh, God. It's not torture, it's research. Besides, I've got a right to torture myself if I want to. What are you going to do? Call amnesty? See, that! That's the push! She can't get away, he's some sort of animal. Did you see the push, Jeremy? Yeah, sure, that looked terrible. <laughs> Looks like a one-off, though, doesn't it? A crazy flash in the pan, don't you think? Nancy, you're her friend. Give me your analysis. Did she tell you what happened after? Well, apparently, he took her to the bathroom for a little bit of... But Sophie was totally not into it. Oh. So they went back to his place, they made out for hours, and she jerked him off. Oh. But then he <laughs> went away, and he hasn't called, and she's really pissed off about it. Oh. Brilliant. Yeah, our ambition man. should be to kill clients. <sighs> should we kill them with our levels of service? So they're dead. She's and not going to smile, Jeff. Friend. Not now. We'll you can't laugh at someone you don't trust. It's like Mum singing the Lumberjack song after she had her affair. So, Aberdeen. I need a couple of experienced credit managers up there for 10 days on-site personnel training. I was thinking, Sophie and Jeff. No, no, no! 10 days? He can wheedle his way back in in 10 days! So, unless anyone else has any thoughts, let's wrap up and have a couple of frappuccinos. Yes, I have a thought. I very much don't think it's a good idea. Why's that? It's just a hunch, and I always trust my hunches. Thanks, Colombo. <laughs> and plus, Jeff doesn't have much experience. The 2003 Scottish Consumer Directive, for example. I really don't think that affects us, Alan. Oh, it doesn't affect us that during the first phone contact, we're obliged to set out without abbreviation the terms of a standard repayment plan. I've shot you, Jeff, with a okay. bullet made of Scottish finance mm. regulations. So, Mark, would you be prepared to go up there with Sophie, if that's the way things panned out? Alan, I, I suppose I could probably make that even if i have to cut off all my limbs and crawl to aberdeen on my tongue i can't believe he's wormed his way back in well his mum was really ill apparently that's why he didn't call sophie bastard perfect alibi still thanks for the heads up on the date mate great to be able to monitor and if anyone asks we're just having a lovely innocent picnic it takes right uh... it's too much man it's just too heavy I yeah. would have just let Sophie go many episodes ago. We're there talking about like episode fish. two, Spence. Episode two, she would have been like, done. You just would have let her go. 
making yourself look so desperate. Then again, that's the type of humor that they love over there. I, I overanalyze it too much. That's just how it is. Just know that I'm glad this little bit of of cinema <laughs> of the silver screen is there for our viewing. Could it survive in today's world? Hell no. But mm. my God, I'm glad it exists somewhere. Brother, I'm with <laughs> you there. Oops. Looks like he's having a bit of trouble with the Humpty keeps rolling on out brilliant although apparently she finds that amusing they're laughing jez they're having a good time got to stop it throw a snack hit him on the head no get them to film it build up a library of taped evidence right evidence that i'm an obsessive voyeur bad news jesus jeremy one bus crash what about all the buses that made it safely to their destinations huh? now this is such bullshit Yes, I suppose the news should just be a dispassionate list of all the events that have occurred the world over during the day. That'd be good. Except, of course, it would take forever. ...to move on nuisance drinkers from the Copthorn That's... area. That's... That's our picnic! You can't see the kettle chips! Bloody hell. Oh my god. Anti-social behavior. Single men more likely to commit drinking-related offenses. New police power. Oh, oh my god. In the, in the great wise words of DJ Khaled, you played yourself. Congratulations. Wow. Well, no. Whose business is it where you do your drinking? I wasn't drinking. I was having a picnic. Oh, no. Hello? Um, we were having a picnic. Tell Dad it, it was a picnic. You can't see the crisps. We had three different flavors of crisps. Explain to him. And, and scotch eggs. Really, I'm, I'm fine. L listen, I've, I've got to go. Cock knobs. Mark, don't worry. These things, they happen for a reason. It might not seem like there's a plan, but there is a plan. All oh, right, you believe in a god, do you? Yes, I do. And you might find it a comfort and Nancy, a Nancy, there's no evidence for God, whereas Ofcom has published guidelines. So does God. It's called the Bible. <laughs> oh, yes, the Bible. And I wonder what the Bible's view is on you doing it in the shower and the garden centre and up the bum. That's all right, is it? That's in the Bible, is it? Or do you think maybe that's not in the Bible? Mark! I'm sure it is in the Bible somewhere. Probably in Corinthians. There's a load of weird <laughs> shit in there. Nice save. Yep. Very nice save. <laughs> oh, God, man. Oh, oh my God, man. Are they staring? They're all staring at the drunk off the news. Yeah, well, them. Me and Sophie are going to Aberdeen. I'll make everything all right in Aberdeen. Mm -mm. Staring. Mm -mm. Just being paranoid as usual. Oh, fuck. All right. Ha uh ha. -huh. Very funny. Yeah, I kick a joke as well as anyone else. But if, if there are any more jokes, I'm taking it to a fucking industrial tribunal, OK? Mark, have a word. Oh, shit. Let me explain. It, it was a picnic. I'm currently speaking to Ofcom. Right. I mean, three flavors of crisps. Sure. Good. Well, I'm glad you understand. Oh, I understand. Totally. Mark, listen. I've been there. I've been to the bottom of the bottle and back to the top. No, uh, Alan, I... We're kindred spirits, Mark. Like George W. or Alistair Campbell. We want it all. We want it now. And if we're not hitting our targets, we're hitting the bottle. Right. Alan, I I'm not an alcoholic. Sure. Sure you're not. That's what I told myself every day for 15 years. But until you face your demons and put the plug in the jug, how can I trust you to be my main man in the office, let alone Frankfurt, the dean? I've got to go to Aberdeen. I've got the rough guide. I could always sell it on eBay. No, I've got to go to Aberdeen with Sophie. Have you found it yet? Found what? The bit. Uh, it says it's okay to do it up the bum. I'm not looking for that. I'm just reading. Okay, sorry. Yes, I want to ask you something. If we can do something very special. So glad I didn't rub one out in the shower. Ugh. I think it's time we break the last taboo. Brilliant. It's not going to hurt, is it? What is it? In the ear. Listen, now we've done it round every which way there is. I'm just wondering if we shouldn't try not doing it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing? No, not amazing. Wrong. Think brain. Yeah. Or, tell you what, go the other way. Do a John and Yoko. Never stop doing it or get out of bed until, like, all the injustice in the world is totally sorted. Jeremy, 
I really want to give this a go. It's a real deal breaker for me. Well Get then, out. let's give it a go. Get out! This isn't anything to do with what Mark said, is it? No, of course not. Because you know he's ghost at the feast, don't you? I'm so glad you understand. Oh, God. You're great, Jess. This is fine. We don't need sex. We can talk. Maybe I can get her to talk dirty while I pull myself off. Oh, God. Get out of oh, there, Jess. Get out of there. Oh, man. Well, oh. foremost, he's punching way to wait with this one. So yeah. count it as a net win. You know, yeah. you walk away with your head held high, uh, opposed to other option that will eventually blow up in your face. Pun and probably intended. Yeah. So, <laughs> man, <laughs> man, Jesus. Hello, my, my name's Mark, and I'm an alcoholic. Uh, so a uh, lager drinker, mainly. I think I had my first one when I was about 14, Hofmeister. You remember the bear with the pork pie hat? Yeah. Surely that's enough. Let it out. Yeah, so it, it's got really bad. I've been on the and coke. More? And <laughs> vodka and gin all mixed up. It's Good not even a God. cocktail, it's just made up. Drink that and stay at home and eat oven chips and the bag frozen and, until I throw up on myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's how pissed I've been. Thanks. God, they'll believe anything. All you've got to do is turn up and moan. Thank you, Mark. What's so great about sex, anyway? It's all in the mind. Her soft skin is just a big bag full of kidneys and mucus and half-digested bits of pie. Oh! I bet she's got really nice kidneys. Oh, what? yeah, I feel those kidneys real good. What? She looks fine. Why am I not fine and she's fine? She's probably getting some somewhere. Maybe she's doing it with him. Excuse me. Is there a suit without meat? Listen, mate. Beggars can't be choosers, all right? Oh, right, now they're laughing. But what's so bloody hilarious? Right, that's it. That is the fucking limit. Hi. What's so funny? What's the big joke? Hey, Jess. Shouldn't you be sorting out the queue? Why? What are you doing that's so important? Oh, well, I was just helping them fill out some benefit forms. God, they're a real pain. I'm gonna go do the soup. I know your game. I know what you're up to, Nim. <laughs> what? Oh, sure. Yeah, you need help filling your forms in. Oh, please, missus, I've been on the streets for so long, I've forgotten how to use a pen. She offered and I just said yes. Like you would them at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my forms, forms. <sighs> I've got my eye on you, what mate. What are you doing? This is what happens when you don't have sex. You know what's mine. funny? You know what's funny? I feel like it can go either way. You can go down his path or there's like some athletes that don't have any before the game to keep them focused. Yeah, yeah, that's like, the thing. <laughs> there are two paths. And he's obviously, as always in life, choosing the wrong one. I don't know, man. He's that's... he's wild. But then again, it wouldn't be as funny if he had actually just said what he was feeling. This is true, too. This is very yeah. true. Yeah. Well played, Peep Show. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about. She's not fucking anyone. We're just sitting, watching TV. That's bad body language. She hasn't mentioned that homeless guy once. Probably want to forget all about him. Oh, that's it. She's off. She's leaving me. Fuck! Where... where are you going? Just wanted some more juice. You want some? Sure. Relax. Play it cool. She loves me. She's not just here because she hasn't got a TV. Oh, listen, Jazz. I forgot to mention, Nim's gonna be moving into my flat. What the fuck? Nim? The homeless guy? Just until he gets his own hostel place. Oh, Jesus, Jazz. Nothing's gonna happen. He's homeless, Jazz. He sleeps rough every night. Exactly. He's fine. It's what he does. It's his whole thing. He probably loves it. The rolling hills, the heather. Don't fence him in. It's only till they sort out his claim. Look, this is ridiculous. We've got this massive sofa. Nim should stay here. Yeah, it'll be a laugh. I love the homeless. One of my own would be amazing. I could look after him. Like a Tamagotchi. Better. I'm fine, Dad. Please. There's no need to come and stay. Uh, I'm, I know it's on the news, but you know what the news is like these days? They just make it all up. Uh, no, that voice. All right, see you at the station. Oh. Uh. Hello. Jez, there's someone I don't know sitting on the sofa eating my Sarah Lee. 
He's a good friend of mine called Nim, who happens to be homeless. He... he's not staying here, is he? Oh, right. I take it you prefer to see him out on the street. You know, brush them away, hose them down, put them into camps. Is that the idea? No, of course it isn't. Yes, he's going to stay here, unless you want him to freeze to death. Or is that exactly what you want? No. Look, you must have some benefits or something. As in fact, he doesn't. Some bloody guy ripped up his forms, apparently. Why on earth would they do that? I don't know, Mark. I guess that's just the way life is on the streets. Listen, Nim, I feel awful, but the thing is, my dad's coming to stay, and he considers Sir David Frost to be something of a hippie, so you're, you're going to have to leave. I'm sorry, I, I wouldn't normally do this. I, I mean, I have standing order to the Royal National Lifeboat Institute. That's the kind of guy I am. But maybe you can take some comfort from that? He's gone. God, she's gorgeous. This is killing me. Maybe I can just go and rob myself against her, say I'm doing an experiment. No, too pathetic. OK, here goes. The nuclear option. The ultimate. So, Nancy, I just wanted to say how much I'm enjoying not having sex with you. Really? Yeah. Come on, Jez. Death or glory. In fact, I was going to propose that we should probably oh. never have sex again. Oh, I mean, what are you... Pumping and pumping. <laughs> all of that wasted energy. And try and accomplish so many more important things. Well, yeah, I mean, but I really wanted this to bring us, you know, closer together. Oh, but it has. I feel incredibly close to you, without any pressure to be sexual. I mean, these are just a pair of human breasts, for Christ's sakes. Now I can finally appreciate you your whole body without any stupid sexual desire. Well, yeah, I mean, great, but maybe it's all just a bit of naughty Nancy. Nancy can't have fun. Nancy must be punished. And maybe I should just say, fuck you, Mom. Oh, yeah, what? take that. Shove this up your toga, you big beardy killjoy. Uno reverse card. Hopefully. Hey, where's Nim? Oh, Nim's gone. Where? But he's fine. Mark chucked him out. Jesus, Jeremy. Poor Nim. Where exactly is Nim? Oh, Nim, Nim, Nim. Look, if you love Nim so much, why don't you go and find him and screw him? Okay, fine. I won't try and find Nim. You know, just to bear that he's not like, I don't know, dead or something. Oh, Nancy, I, I didn't mean it. Come back. Oh, please. I'm dying here. Just uh, touch it. Blow on it. You can use a tea towel. Safe. He almost had it. He almost did. But, you know, that's the overlapping of... You know what it is? I feel like this would be a completely different show if they each had their own place. I yeah. think the dynamic that they share the same space and they're so freaking different is what makes this show yeah. so amazing. Yeah, the two of them. Yeah. 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 Uh, as I say, if we do end up going up the highlands together, I not only expect, but will insist on separate rooms, because... Mark? Uh oh um, It's not what it looks like. It's only a pint. It's never only a pint. I didn't even want it. Sophie bought it for me. I asked for a Coke. No, you didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm hearing, Mark? Pour me. Pour me another drink. No. <laughs> Alan! This is bullshit, Mark. And you can forget about the two weeks in Aberdeen. Two words. Mini bar. Ah, uh, Calibre. Of course. Didn't I say it was Calibre? Calibre would have made everything all right. What an idiot. OK, I'm going to Badeen. I'm going, Jeff, in a canoe made of your skin wearing your nuts as earrings. What? All right, Jeff. All right, so, say, tell you what, Jeff. I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. <laughs> no, what? don't say it. Yeah, really doing it, we were. Mate, I know you're pissed off about me going to Aberdeen with Soph and everything, but you need to chill right out, otherwise... Otherwise I'm... what? Uh -huh. You homo. Mark. See good cars lately, Mr. Scouser. Hey, where's your native what? wit now, eh, Mr. Stupid? Watch it, mate. Come on, Jeff. Let's get down to it, shall we? Come on, you stupid, stinking chicken fucker. Quack, quack, quack. Chickens really love it when that big rooster Jeff comes a-calling. He's bloody broken my beautiful nose. That should be more than enough for personnel to go on, don't you think? Goodbye, Jeff. What, mate? Where's... 
Oh, you, you're not the one I bought the lager for. Laurie knocks off at six. But he was supposed to tape the... me and Jeff in the room. He, he must have taped it. Oh, shit! <laughs> Mate, pal, you, you got to do me a favour. Hey, oh. Jeff. What now, Mark? Yeah, so, like I was saying... <laughs> your mum. I had sex with her. Mark, when? why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, and it was great. Mark, go home. Come on, you big pussy. What are you Look, doing? you obviously got a lot of serious stuff going on. And I'm not going to make it any worse. Come on. Dick cheese, piss teeth, fish lips. Come on. Have another crack at me, Jeff. Go on, I'll fight back this time. Hit me, Jeff. <laughs> it's OK. I'll get him at the bus stop. He is. There's CCTV at the bus stop. What is he doing? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> It's amazing. This guy acts like an alcoholic without being an alcoholic. He's I mean, a sober alcoholic. Why? It's amazing the course this man's on to ruin his own life. Ugh. It's amazing. Who can... <laughs> you know what, what hurts my mind? Is that someone can write this type of show. Holy hell. I don't like, know that, but nine series of it. My God. You know what they did? They must have created two characters, right? And they must have just hated these fucking characters. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. put these two through the meanest, most hellish freaking moments. But it's great. I can't stop loving this show. I'm here, me too. Fucking wild. Make two thumbs up for yeah, that. This yeah. Makes me appreciate. I've never had these kind of days. So I love it. <laughs> it makes, makes you feel a little better about yourself. Yeah, it really does, oh, man. Oh, man. Just that last bit where he's just throwing every insult at him. Playground insults. His bloody nose. Just what? And then uh, doing it all just for entrapment. Dude is psychotic. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. I never saw this part of him on what I like to you. No, not at all, man. Wow. It's a full experience, dude. It is. It's a, it's a roller coaster. Yes. Thanks for your patronage, y'all. Keeping the lights on. Yes. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, and Unplug and do something legendary, guys. See y'all next time. Later.